Welcome to KidCare, a web-based application that allows you to manage your child care business on any internet-connected device. In this video, we'll briefly review KidCare's features and how to use them. Ready to learn more? Let's get started. To access KidCare, open an internet browser on your device of choice and navigate to app.kidcare.com. Log in using the credentials your food program sponsor provided to you. If you are currently using Minute Menu CX, use the same credentials you use to access CX. Once you log in, you land on the Kids page. This page displays participants who are currently enrolled. Use the menu to the left to navigate Kid Care. Note that this menu is collapsed by default on smaller devices. Simply tap the blue and white hamburger icon to expand the menu. Your food program sponsor determines what you can and cannot access in Kid Care. This means that some features shown here may not be available to you. Also, note that your center administrator may put certain user permissions in place to limit what staff may and may not access. Let's start from the beginning with the Kids page. According to your center settings, this page may be called something else, such as participants or children. For the duration of this video, we will refer to this page as the Kids page and enrolled participants as participants. This page lists active participants and may include pending and withdrawn participants as well. To control which participants display, click the orange gear to the top right. You can filter by participant status and sort participants by first or last name. To further customize this page, you may consider uploading participant photos. Simply click the camera icon, select or take a photo, and click the check mark. Now, Let's enroll a new participant. Click Add Child to get started. Move through the pages of enrollment information to enroll the participant. Remember, all participants are enrolled at pending status until your food program sponsor activates them. You must also provide all enrollment and income eligibility forms to your food program sponsor. If your sponsor uses eForms, you can send an invitation for enrollment in two easy steps. Click the down arrow next to the Add Child button and select Send eForms. Then, provide basic child and guardian details and click Send Invitation. If you need to view or edit participant information, click a participant's name. Click Edit, if available, to update enrollment information. This is also where you would go to withdraw a participant or to print their enrollment forms. Now that you've enrolled your participants, take attendance and record meal counts. From the menu to the left, click Food Program. Select Attendance and Meal Count. Ensure that the correct date, classroom, and meal are selected at the top of the page. Then, check the box next to each participant to mark them in for the day. If it's mealtime, click the fork and knife icon to record the participant present at a meal. Don't forget to save! Return to this page throughout the day to record additional meal counts. So, what are you actually serving at meals during the day? Record your meals on the daily menu page. This page makes it easy. Simply select each CACFP meal component from the drop-down menus. Let's take a closer look. From the menu to the left, click Food Program. Then, click Daily Menu. Note the infants and non-infants options at the top of the page. These options allow you to record your non-infant and infant menus separately. Simply click Infants or Non-Infants to toggle between them. Then, use the Meal Component drop-down menus to select food from your food program sponsor's food list. If you are serving a whole grain for your bread component, click the Whole Grain Rich slider to mark it. Don't forget to click Save after you've entered each meal. Consider estimating attendance at this point so you can print the menu production record and plan your food purchases. Also, do you serve this meal or a very similar meal often? Save it as a template. Simply click Create Menu, give it a name, and click Save. You can view and create additional menu templates on the Menu Templates page. When you record this meal in the future, you can select the Save menu to automatically populate the meal component dropdowns. Keep track of recorded menus on the menu calendar. Menus you've recorded display with an abbreviation of the meal. You'll also notice that the calendar alerts you if you have not estimated attendance for a particular day. You can also use the calendar to copy your menus to different days. Once you've recorded meals and attendance for the month, you must submit your claim to your food program sponsor. To do so, click Claims from the menu to the left. 
A list of your claims appears here. If you have not submitted a particular claim, the Submit button displays in the Submitted column. Click this button to submit your claim. Once submitted, the submission date displays here instead. Once your food program sponsor processes your claim, you can click the Claim Month to view claim details. Now, let's look at how to access the numerous reports KidCare provides. Click Reports from the menu to the left. Then, select a report category, the report to run, and any applicable filters. Click Run. Some reports are generated on screen and others download as a PDF. Now, let's talk about some features that your food program sponsor may have enabled for you. First, we'll look at how to track food program expenses and milk purchases in KidCare. The first step is adding a vendor. From the menu to the left, click Expenses and select Vendors. Click Add Vendor, input the vendor's information, and click Save. Now, click Receipts from the menu to the left. Click Add Receipt. You have two options when entering receipts, Itemized Entry or Quick Entry. Itemized Entry allows you to enter each item purchased on a separate line. You can include descriptions that identify the item purchased. Quick Entry allows you to quickly assign dollar values to expense categories without inputting each line item. You cannot enter identifying descriptions with Quick Entry. No matter which method you use, the receipt total and running total must match before you can save. You can also use the gallons calculator when recording your milk, so you can quickly convert purchased milk units to gallons. Recording your milk purchases is especially important for the milk audit. The milk audit compares the amount of milk purchased with the amount of milk needed based on menus and meal counts. Milk purchases are pulled from the receipts you or your food program sponsor enter. From the menu to the left, click Food Program. Select Milk Audit. If you wish to view daily values on a calendar, click Show Daily Calendar. Note that there may be some variances in this page based on your food program sponsor's policies. Another feature your food program sponsor may use is eForms. eForms brings the enrollment process online, eliminating paper forms. If your food program sponsor is using eForms, you can monitor enrollment invitations and completion on the View Status page. From the menu to the left, click eForms and select View Status. Here, you can see existing invitations and their status. Use the icons in the far right column to open the form on site, resend the invitation, cancel the invitation, or mark it as manually completed. For more information about working with eForms, see our article and video, Working with eForms for Sponsored Centers. The last feature we'll explore is the messaging feature. This feature is available to all centers. However, your center administrator may limit who may or may not access messages. Let's take a closer look. A notification displays over the envelope icon to the top left if you have any new messages. Messages can come from your food program sponsor, or from parents. Click the envelope and select See All Messages to access the Messages page. You can also click Messages from the menu to the left. From the Messages page, you can view received messages and send messages to parents. When messaging parents, you can include surveys and attachments. Review parent survey responses and message reports in the Sent Messages tab. We've covered a lot of ground in this video. Visit us at help platkidcare.com slash help slash centers to access detailed instructions and video tutorials for the features you saw here. You can also simply click Get Help from the menu to the left in KidCare itself. Thanks for watching!